Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Shut Door Door Shutter coming back to you with episode 10 of Direwolf 20's 1.16.4 mod pack. Um, as you can see here, I've been kind of crafting a little bit off camera because this stuff's kind of repetitive. Um, I made some storage parts, uh, which are not that complicated. They take 1K storage parts, some basic processors, which are just these raw basic processors, which is this, smelted, and then you can make the 1k um, 1k part then the 1k you need three of those to make the 4k and the 4k are you know these so we're gonna make quite a few of them here all of the ones I just had so we have quite a few of them uh, now we need this which kind of been you know crafting in the background so um, I don't know what we actually need to make this uh, disc thing here. Uh, what is that? Polished scoria, dark scoria. I'm guessing stone. I, I can't tell because it's, there's so many different types of blocks. So we're going to grab a piece of stone and see if that works. Okay, so stone. That's what that is. Um, we also need a... Con Let's get a controller before we actually get anything else here. <coughs> Sorry for, sorry for like coughing or sounding a little off. Um, kind of just been doing that recently, and I'm not sure why, but it's not COVID. Uh, I don't really get out much, so if it was COVID, then it probably me and my fiance has it. So, uh, but it's not uh, COVID-related symptoms. It's just medical issues with me. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, also, off camera, I did make a few more of the thermo generators. Uh, as you can see here, this has been running for probably about 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour-ish, and we have 153, 162 slime balls. I did move this, um, just, or I added this, and then I moved the storage drawers over here, just so everything's a little bit more compacted down. Um, but we're going to put our uh, controller, uh, you know, let's see, where do we want to put our controller? I was kind of thinking, like, put our stuff right here. So we can put this right there. Okay. And then we can put a, another thing, which is our disk drive, whenever we make it here. Uh, so disk drive, which is this, uh, this. Uh, then we need a chest. We don't have a chest. So let's make one. And this is where we're going to put the 4K drive, or the, yeah, the 4K storage disks here. So, then we can put this right here for now. And, of course, we can't see this, uh, which isn't the, probably the best idea. But we can see this by just clicking on it. We don't really need a visual indicator all the time. So, that's awesome. Um, and we will run some cables this way uh, to a terminal uh, so we need some uh, what do we call it oh no I should just keep refined here a uh, cable it's right there I just saw it where to go right here a uh, cable okay so we have some stuff to make but I think I have glass in here or do I already have the glass on me I already have the glass on me so that's nice um, so cable 12 should be fine. Uh, connecting. Awesome. It also kind of gives you a clue on how to do refined storage and the advancements, I'm get, I'm assuming, because uh, I haven't really looked at the advancements in a while for refined storage. Looks like they've uh, updated a little bit since the last time I've seen them. So that's cool. Um, let's get a grid. Which, which grid? I'm thinking, yeah, grid, wherever that just went. So we need a constructive and deconstructive, which is glowstone and quartz. So let's grab a piece of glowstone. Glowstone, glowstone. So quartz and then glowstone, wherever that is. Also, AE2 has updated their crystals and stuff. So that's the charged Sardis Quartz crystal. So nice textures, honestly. I like them. There's the Sardis Quartz. They look pretty awesome. Um, if you can actually look here applied energistics 
you can see that they've updated the ore texture as well and a few other the blocks like 3d model them which is nice honestly cool they, they haven't had an update on textures in quite a bit so uh pretty nice but i'm not going to be using that i'm going to be using the refined storage sadly so um that's a thing <clears throat> um let's see so we should have some processors cooked up and over here uh so we need two of these one and this and then one with this <clears throat> and we don't really need this anymore this let's get the grid I'm pretty sure this is the right thing. Uh, more stone. Okay. There we go. And then that should be that. And we'll see what we got. Okay, cool. So what we're going to try to do is just get everything out of these chests for now. Um, and a lot of this stuff, honestly, is going to be put in drawers. So that's going to be an interesting thing. As you can see, um, oh, what is it? There's a way to do this in refined storage. It is external storage. There it is. So doing one of these on the storage drawer controller will show all these items and all that jazz. So we have that kind of covered, which is nice. Um, so we'll be able to just do a lot of items in drawers and not have to worry about them as much. And I'm kind of just trying to get all the uh, valuable stuff away here. And we'll see how much storage is left after this. Oop, I just threw my backpack in there. Not something I want to throw in there just yet. Yeah, so like lapis and appetite can totally be put in a drawer. Probably diamonds as well. Okay, so that's that entire chest. Let's go check on the storage here. So, yeah, we got 3,000, 15% full. Not terrible. So, I was just curious. Um, but I, I kind of just forgot exporters exist. Let's, or import. Oh, how do I do it again? Is it import or export? Oh, I don't ever remember. Uh, AE did it differently than refined storage, and I'm not sure what they actually did differently. So let's grab... Uh, what do we need? We can make a crafting grid. Actually, let's do that before anything else. So uh, at craft... Or at refined... Crafting... Um, crafting grid... I'm pretty sure is the right thing. Yeah, crafting grid's the right one. Okay. Uh, which is just the grid crafting table and an advanced processor. So advanced processor, we'll just grab one. And uh, crafting table, which I think I have one in here somewhere. And then we'll take the grid. Okay. So it's this, this, and this, which will make our lives 10 times easier because now I can actually craft some things. Ooh, I like that one. I like that one. Okay. And we can do, let's just do name and JEI synchronized. So now, if I think if I close it and open it, no, okay, there we go, maybe, oh, okay, it has to be in this box, I'm guessing, oh, no, there we go, two way, okay. So now if I need, actually, I'm going to do, okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, we need, what did we need? Uh, exporter. They have an advanced exporter from extra storage now. I'm not sure what extra storage is. So let's actually look at extra storage real quick. Storage. So it looks like we've got some. 256k to just a whole lot more oh that is nice we might have to look into this one uh storage disks like excessive storage disks right there uh storage blocks even iron crafter gold crafters so different types of crafters um the thing is is crafters only can hold a certain amount of items and so these will most likely hold more items i hope but we have like advanced and x 
and uh, advanced importers and exporters, better fluid storage. Honestly, not a bad mod. It's a small mod, but honestly, I think it'll do pretty well. So refined, and we'll do import. I think it's this. If it's not, then it will. So we should be able to do is like hook this. Nope, might be. Uh, let's go around then. Uh, get items or fluids into the storage network with an importer. Okay, so the importer is the correct one. Cool. So we'll just hook that right there. And all the blocks should be slowly doing that. Um, that's not fast at all. I can do this faster myself, which is sad. So I was just curious if that would actually work. Um, but we can actually keep this chest here. Um, for some things, I'm guessing. Like fast stuff. Isn't there uh, ender stuff in here as well? So ender, storage. Yeah, so we could do like uh, an import chest <clears throat> with all of the um, refined stuff. So we'd have like a way to auto import. All right. <clears throat> so the import is not really necessary right now. So we'll just knock it out, throw it in the system. And uh, let me get the rest of this in here and I'll be back. Alrighty, so it has been quite a bit since I've uh, done the last segment, but I've moved some stuff. I've moved all the storage drawers all back here. Um, and the reason being is because now I have an external storage on this. So what this means now is I can look in here and I can see all the iron, let's see, iron uh, that's in this chest. Or that's in, where is it? This thing. Um, but there is an issue. There is some item still in the system that I need to pull out. Um, oh, sorry. Um, but we'll work on that in a bit. I've also done this. I've made another room uh, with the crafting grid up here as well. Uh, not really sure why I did that. It's just, uh, it'll come in handy later, most likely. So um, I need to move this system somewhere else because I want to be able to pull all the items out of that chest and it's kind of difficult to actually do that from you know from this uh, from being over here so we're gonna have to figure that one out uh, I'm gonna assume that it would probably be the best to just put the system up there so that's what I'm probably gonna do and then just keep the independent machines down here uh, so let me real quick just grab, let's see, do I have my crescent hammer on me? Uh, no, I do not, but I can go grab it here. I don't think I put it in the system. Uh, no, okay, so cool. So it should be here. I'm going to try to avoid putting all the tools and stuff in the system because that just kind of seems like a bad idea. Uh, and then we'll leave that gold chest for a second. So... We'll go upstairs. I don't know how we're going to run power just yet. I think we could probably run power. Yeah, like right up here. And then we could do the storage block right there. Let me uh, go throw the magnet in the charger real quick as well. I also made a uh, exchange tool, exchanging gadget. Uh, just in case I need it, which will allow me to just change out blocks uh, from one to another, which isn't the worst. Um, it'll come in useful most likely later. Uh, not right now, though. So let's see. So we need cable, uh, start, no, basic. So the basic cable, we only have eight of them, so we're going to have to probably make more soon. So we'll see. Um, but we could run this up there and we actually have two cells right here I'm gonna actually take this one and keep the power cable right there just because I don't really need two in one area it was just because I had two and I really had no place to put the other ones so what we can do is this and my bag is doing auto pickup uh, let me grab that and this way we have actual power up here, um, which we'll get to in a second here. 
And actually, hold on. Before I do this, I could actually probably put it right here rather than there, just so I have uh, the ability to like come back behind input power, so I don't have to like look at the ugliness kind of thing. And also, we can do refined cable right here, or actually even right here, um, for pulling all the items from the smeltery thing. So. Uh, the end will be here, so the redstone furnace should be here. This, this, this. And then we need the gold chest from downstairs. So let me grab a cardboard box here. Um, and then we'll pop downstairs. And this way, we won't have to worry about, you know needing to grab stuff out of this chest when we uh, get done smelting it or anything so we can take these cables cover up this wall <clears throat> and we aren't really going to be able to like do this too well because we don't have all the cables we need uh, so that's a thing so uh, let's see so <clears throat> cable uh, use let's see what can we make nope use so we need more of these things okay uh, we need some more of these things which require those things okay and then this we'll just grab two sets of those use there we go that should be enough cables for now and we might do hardened later hardened cables later but for now we don't really need them oh that's not what i meant to place a metal mouse click and it didn't work okay and then we can set this here nope oh yeah And then I think we have an importer in the system, right? Uh, so, import tour, here we go. Uh, we'll come over here. And then just do cable. And we're not going to run it from point A to point B. We're going to do that. So there's still a hole in the wall, but that's fine. So everything is going to be slowly taken out of this, uh, which is good. Um, yeah. So what to do now? Uh, well, I can put everything away for a second here. I need to get the uh, thing where I can actually push all the items that aren't really supposed to be in the system into it. So, like iron and all this. And I need to actually start getting upgrades for this uh, sooner or later. Uh, which is going to be fun. So, yeah, let me be right back. All right, we're back. So, it has actually been a few days since the last segment. Um... I've made some changes. I've changed up some drawers into compacting drawers. And if you don't know what uh, compacting drawers are, uh, first off, I can show you the recipe. So the it's just two pistons, a drawer, iron, and stone. And the reason you do this is because you can put in, say, gold ingots, and it'll convert them to gold and gold nuggets. So what that means is I have gold in here right now, but now I can use the actual system to pull out, um, let's see, I can pull out, if it'll let me click here, there we go, I can pull out like redstone blocks, um, and you'll see that the actual redstone will decrease, put it back in there, it'll increase, so that's pretty cool, added some, uh, some of those, got diamonds in there, got, uh, what is this one, blocks of 10, For some reason it just glitched out, um, and all this jazz. So I've also been working on empowering 
Um, and the reason I did this off camera is because it's just a little annoying. As you can see, I've automated it. Um, and all this is, is if I go here and look up Empower, uh, I think it's Orb. If I look up Orb here. So you need an energizing orb, which is just a basic recipe here. And then I believe it's at power. You need some of these energizing rods. The energizing rods become this. Uh, I've made this tier. And then you can just keep making more and more tiers. Um, so what I've actually been working on is getting blazing crystals. As you can see down here, uh, I've moved this to blazing crystal blocks. Um, and a blazing crystal is is just this. Uh, where is it? Right here. So either one blaze rod or four blaze powder. And you get one per. So I've been doing the blaze powder method. And this actually automates it. So you've got like a comparator coming out. A repeater set on four ticks. Because it will allow for two items out of each hopper. To actually go into the orb. And then the redstone is ran... And this lever is here just so I can put the items in whenever, so it doesn't break or anything. So, um, yeah, I've also added uh, another magma crucible on each side of this, and I had to move them so I could do that. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I've changed. Um, yeah, I've also done a little bit of mining off camera just because I was running low on some things. Um, so we can toss in some ores here. Um, I think that's all I've got so far, right? Oh, not my shovel. Yeah, we've got plenty of other stuff. So, I have actually was reading comments on episode 8. My last episode that was just made. And somebody suggested that you could put spawners inside of cardboard boxes. And I went and, got, went and tested that theory. And it is true. So, if I had access to blaze spawners, I could have used blaze spawners to... Uh, easily got blaze rods, but I actually couldn't find any. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, so we're kind of sticking with that method for now, and uh, we're gonna see what happens. So, yeah. Um. Do 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 do. My inventory is a mess. All right, let me just like take this stuff out for a second here, and I'll sort through it. So let me be right back. Let me clean out my inventory, and I'll be right back with you guys. So also, real quick, I wanted to mention, I did make the disc manipulator thing, um, which what you do is you would take all your discs out of here, and say this one has 4,000. Of course, I've already done this, so it's not going to do that. Um, but uh, let's see. So I've got one for 2000. So this one has some items in there that shouldn't be in there. So over time, it will start pushing them over into these drawers. And as you can see here, yeah, see that that's, this is a problem with Optifine. It's kind of rendering weird now, but that is fine. It should be rendering over here, but it's rendering on this block side, which is fine with me. Um, but sooner or later that will stop. And then it won't, it won't go over here because it doesn't hit zero. So if I put this one in here and when this hits, uh, when this is complete, it'll push this one over because this is zero. So that gives you an indication that it's actually done. Uh, and we could do that for this 4,000. Uh, there's some items in the 4,000 one. Um, so we've checked this 4,000 one, then that's what that means. So, yeah. Nice. So yeah, I made that. I, I keep I kind of forgot about mentioning that. Um, but I also did make a magnet as well. Um, this magnet is from Power, and it's just this. But the basic one is this. So it's not too complicated. I'm sorry if I keep going too quickly and don't explain enough. Um, I don't know. It, it kind of is boring to just sit and craft and try to figure out things on camera sometimes, um, especially this, um, which I will be you know, moving and stuff and actually setting this up on camera again um, sooner or later. But for now, it's just auto-crafting some things so we can get better tiers and stuff as well. So um, that's the thing. Man, this one has a lot of stuff in there that shouldn't be. Oh, it's a lot of diamonds. <laughs> okay. Um, I've also put a magma crucible over here for just lava. 
Um, and I've, I've decided, you know what, let's use cyclic. And I don't really use cyclic that much. Um, like, I haven't really looked into it that much. But actually, this uh, tank holds 24 buckets. Uh, well, I think mechanisms holds uh, a certain amount. Let's see. Let's uh, look up basic. Basic tank holds not that much. Hold on. Let's see. 14. So it holds 10 more. And it is kind of uh, more annoying to craft, but it is worth it at the end of the day. Uh, I don't know why I have a death marker here and a death marker there. I don't remember dying. Are we good yet? Nope, we're still cruising. All right, I'm going to take the diamonds out of the system manually. Um, where's my other drive? Oh, it's in there. Okay. So if I do diamond, and then I just take out all the diamonds... I need to lock these. Okay, let me do that real quick. I thought I locked some of them, but not all of them, I guess. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, and then we can take out take out these for a second here. Throw them. Okay, so none of them can be cleared out. Okay, that one's at zero, that one's at zero. Okay, so we're good. And we can throw this in there. Alrighty. Um, so I've kind of just been on rambling mode here. So let's get to work here. So I need to make some crafters. And I'm kind of curious what is what these are. Okay, so let's look into them. Uh, we need destruction cores. And we need... Uh, let's just press A on this. Okay, and we also need a construction core. We'll throw these into the system here. Need another one of these. All right, so let's see. So by basic here, you can see that this has this many slots. So nine slots and then four upgrade slots, right? So if we take this over here and we do an iron crafter, I'm not sure what this will do. So slots for pattern 26, tw <coughs> 26 uh, base speed times 1. So let's look at this. Okay, that is a significant improvement. So I'm kind of curious, can we go one step further here? This is quite expensive, but I'm willing to take that. Holy cow, that is excessive. Okay, uh, 5 times speed. Okay, so I could look at this here. So 125 times speed, 63, 25, 81, 125. Okay, so what we can do is I've also expanded this just because I want to put some stuff up here like auto crafting. Just get it out of the way and all of that. So what we can do is, yeah, let's keep it right here. We're going to get some refined cable, uh, which you might need to make a little bit more of here which is fine. So if we run this cable here, so the crafter is able to do some just auto crafting, basic auto crafting. Um, and what I want it to auto craft is, I've got no idea. I don't remember how crafting honestly works in this. So yeah, crafting. Uh, let's do at find uh, crafting. So I'm pretty sure we might need a crafting ma crafting manager, uh, which is two crafters, which there's colored ones for some reason now, which is annoying. It's like there's a whole lot of or dictionary conflicts and it's really stupid. Uh, yeah, we didn't make two of those, did we? Uh, dang it. There we go. And then now we can make a second crafter. 
Never mind. Okay, there we go. Second crafter. And then we can make a crafting manager. Or not. Dang it. There we go. Uh, let's put this right here. What does this do? Okay, so this just lets me see those. So that's not what I need then. Um, what do I need? Well, it's a crafting monitor. Okay, so this might be what we need. <laughs> I, I was just kind of looking. I'm not 100% sure, so we're kind of just on a whim here. Uh, let's make a little bit more of this stuff. So another one of these bad boys. And a crafting manator. Manator. Okay. No, that's not what we need either. Um... Da, 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 da. Da, da. Okay, hold on. Okay, pattern grid. That might be what we need. Might be. I mean, these other ones to my right are going to be useful, by the way. So there's no point in like taking them away. Um, the reason I say they're going to be useful is because they actually allow you to see the crafting, uh, crafting stuff. So let me show you in a second here whenever I get this done crafting. Uh, let's see. So grid... I think the first thing is I'm going to start like auto crafting some uh, refined storage stuff. I didn't click on that. What? Okay. Are we at advanced processors? That's fine. Let's just grab eight of these. All right. So this one will allow you to see what your crafting's what's crafting right now. This one will allow you to see what's actually in the crafter. So I could put these somewhere where I don't see them and then use this to actually put more patterns and stuff in here. That's what that one's for. Um, so that's why I'm gonna keep them is because they're actually useful. It's just not something I, I usually make first. Usually I'd make this first. I'm curious, can these like interlace and all that? Oh, wait, what? Okay, there's the pattern grid. I was like, wait, what was that? Okay, yeah, so um, this will allow us to make basic things. Okay, so like chests, uh, anything we need, um, but we need patterns. So I'm gonna actually auto craft patterns first. And how I wanna do this is uh, I don't actually I don't know how I want to do this fully yet. Um, maybe we will get to this next episode because it is wrapping up point. So thank you guys for stopping by. Um, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys next time.